They love their new kitty castle, right Mochi? Mangy! Oh, you gotta go up top already. You can actually oh. fit! Mangy! Oh. Big with Mangy and his little cubby! <laughs> Ooh, that's high definition Mochi. Oh, he's gonna go! Butt over she kill, here he goes! Oh! Excuse me, sir. You're good. And Mochi is queen. She's the winner. Mangy didn't get up there before her. Oh, oh Mangy okay. now so wants to go to the, the blinds. Can you not eat the blinds. Mochi, what do you have to say for yourself? Academy. Hope everybody's having a phenomenal day. I had a stand. You know that's going to be a hype video. I am super hyped for New York Comic Con. First off, sorry about another little hiatus. You know, it, it's been it's been a little bit tough to film videos. There's a lot going on. Fall is here. I love fall. Football has been back. There's NBA playoffs. My Celtics lost. Don't want to talk about it. And I haven't bought in like a ton of pops in the last few weeks. I'm saving up for my New York Comic Con haul. I'm so excited. So it's been a few weeks since the video, I apologize, but I have a lot of cool ideas coming up for videos we can do. I wanted to, I kind of wanted to not change up the channel. Don't worry, I'm always gonna be buying pops, but I've been brainstorming some ideas to like change things up a little bit to make it more entertaining. Cause I know, you know, I know you guys love me, but it might get a little boring just unboxing things all the time. So I have some really hype ideas coming up. Definitely not gonna tell you guys now, I'll have to build a hype, but that's coming soon. And I'm gonna be coming full swing back in for videos. One more thing before we get into the New York Comic Con Pops and boys and girls, there's so much hype around those. I'm so excited. I don't think I've really talked about them at all yet. I was waiting for this video, so I'm super excited. But first, before we get into it, had to announce, if you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, you saw, but we dropped our first ever official merch, Pop Academy. Take a look here. We got tons of cool stuff. There is hoodies, there's shirts, there's long sleeves, there's mugs, tons of awesome stuff, guys. We're definitely gonna be coming out with different types of merch. This is just the first launch. So if you like this, make sure to grab it now. I got a hoodie, it's super comfortable, guys. We got the uh, PA logo on the front. It's got our Pop Academy, the main logo on the back. It's very cool. We'll be coming out with some more stuff and some exclusive uh, merch. But if you wanna grab one of those guys, it should be right down below there. Love you guys. But anyway, it is time to get into NYCC 2020. So 2020 has sucked, as you guys know. This time last year, I'd be, I would, I'm already hyped, okay? But I would be even more hyped, if that makes sense, just because I'd be going to New York Comic Con. I went for the last two years, 2019, I even got into the lottery. I came back with like 40 pops. I was, I had so much cool stuff. You guys probably remember all that fun stuff. I met up with Top Pop, Bearded Pop, Hunter Cletus, Pop and Couple, tons of awesome other people. All right, guys, so I'm gonna really miss that this year. It pains me, I'm hoping, I know uh, things are looking a little bit better. I'm hoping 2021 things are back to normal and cons will be back, I, you know, we'll see. I don't wanna get my hopes up, but I'm still excited at least we're getting pops and this drop for NYCC was insane. It was way better than SDCC. I understand everything going on in the world like we just said with COVID, okay, that Funko had to hold back a lot of those SDCC pops, but oh my God, did they drop the mother load for us for NYCC. So, as I always do, I have a really, really weird little dinky list here. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. But I have like at least 10 pops I'm gonna be getting. There's a lot of good pops here, guys. Now, I don't collect like the anime lines and stuff like that as much, like Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia, all those, you know, all the other animes I don't watch. So, there's just a lot of good stuff I personally won't be getting. But overall, as you can see, I'll throw it up here. This is everything at the con and where, well, not at the con, but in the stores and on the virtual con, if you want to call it four. This is everything you can get. So tons of cool stuff, even stuff I won't be getting, I still think is really cool. So before I read off some of my thoughts on the pops, I know a lot of people are upset about the virtual con. I think Funko did the best they can. I didn't get it, neither did Catherine, I was a little upset. I did have a buddy of ours that's been following us on Pop Academy here for a while. He got in and he's gonna hook me up with a couple pops. So I love you infamous 49er if you're watching this. He's gonna hook me up with a few pops and I could not be more excited. So number one, I'm not gonna start with my like, I'll start, I'll start with some of my top ones. So obviously my one of my top ones I want is that Wonder Woman, okay? 
amazing. We still haven't got to see Wonder, Wonder Woman 84. God, I'm so excited I can't even talk. But this pup is insane. She's swinging from the lightning. We saw that scene in the trailer. I really like that one. Luckily, my buddy said he'd be able to pick me that one up. I'm so excited. I'm going to get a con sticker for that one. I'm so hyped. That's one of my favorite pops from the con. It's so cool. So great start for DC. Another awesome DC pop we're getting is Nightwing. Now, this one's so cool. I love the design. And you can really see the difference between the old Nightwing that came out, you know, in like 2012 and this one. When Funko was a little bit more in the older design, sim simplistic, is that the right word? And now it's a little bit more detailed. I do have that original Nightwing, so this is going to go great with that. We don't have many Nightwing pops. I know there's a few, so I was excited to see that being made. So DC killed it there. Another DC pop we're getting is the Joker, and this is for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month for October. So I, I really like that. It's the original DC Universe Joker and they just made a pink. I definitely want to get that full set. I mean, they're awesome looking pops. I love pink and it's supporting a great cause. You just can't go wrong. So I'll definitely be going for that one. That, so DC just knocked it out of the park. I couldn't be happier with those. Maybe if there was a Superman in there. But other than that, it looks awesome. We will jump into Marvel here and I will say Marvel, honestly, I was a little bit let down with the Marvel pops. I honestly think I'm only getting... I had to write them. I think I'm getting two. And overall, I mean, I know there hasn't been any, any MCU movies, so we can't get anything like that, but I don't know. I, I'm not collecting the Marvel zombie line, so I'm passing on the, I think it was Deadpool from this year or whatever. And then I'm really not a fan of the Spider-Man, the art series one, the Miles Morales. I love the normal art series, but that was the graffiti design. I, it, you don't even know, it doesn't even look like a pop. I don't even know what to say. I'll throw it up here. I'm just, I, I'm not thrilled about that. I think they're gonna be making like a line of those. I know a lot of people are kind of like, what the heck is this poop? I gotta agree with them there, and I'm a big Marvel fan, but I will not be getting that. I, I wasn't too excited about that, to be honest. But for Marvel, I'm excited about this boy right here, Red Goblin. That looks awesome. I'm very excited about that one. I will be picking that one up. I believe that's Hot Topic, so that's gonna be very cool. And then I do need to keep getting my Venomized line, and they're making, <laughs> they make so many Venomized pops, but one of the coolest Marvel lines for sure. So I will be getting that Venomized Magneto. Very cool one. Not a big X-Men fan, but it's Venomized. I gotta get it. You know, that's what being completionist is all about. So those are two Marvel pops that I like, but DC definitely beat Marvel this year, at least for me. If you don't agree, you're wrong. <laughs> Move on. Let's get into Pokemon, guys. We got some of our Pokemon, uh, Pokemon. We can, uh, over here. We got some here. We got some here. So, oh, it's so aggravating. We had this exact discussion at SDCC, and we had an Emerald Comic Con. I love the Pokemon Pops, okay? I like variants, but I'm a little bit getting sick of the flock. They're doing that every con. We got Mewtwo in the SDCC one, and then we got Vulpix. And then WonderCon, they came out with Pichu and Eevee flocked. We had a Bulbasaur flock for Emerald, Comic Emerald City Comic Con, and the Charmander flock was also Emerald City Comic Con. So we're getting like two for each con. This year's is Growlithe flocked, which that makes sense to be flocked. That looks really cool. I'm very excited about that pop. And then we're also getting a Grumpy Pikachu flocked. I mean... I just, I'd rather have them make a new Pokemon pop, a new sculpt, and have that be a con exclusive. People would go wild for that. I know they still will go for the flocked. I mean, flocked Pokemon are really cool. And those are two Pokemon that make sense to be flocked, unlike that Mewtwo and the Squirtle, and it just doesn't make any sense. I will definitely get them. I am still hyped. A flocked Growl is gonna be the cutest thing I've ever seen, but I would have liked to seen a new sculpt, to be honest, guys. I know a lot of you guys agree, if not all of you guys. I'll still get them. I'm a completionist. It'll look cool on display, but I hope we get some more sculpts because this Pokemon line is awesome, guys. And I want I want the good stuff. I want the legendaries. That we like like I want the legendary birds. I want the legendary dogs. This could get really funky. Alright, we got a few more here that we want, so well that I want. I know you guys probably want to want a lot. I know you guys probably want a lot too. And make sure to let me know down below what you're gonna be getting at this convention or virtual con. I keep saying that. I just it's weird. I still can't get used to it, and it's the fourth one. But another one, they're making another one for The Office, and I'm so excited about this one too. It's Recyclops. This one's super freaking cool. I love that one. So that's probably the best Recyclops we've gotten so far. We've gotten two already, one for ECC and one for SDCC. So Funko's following the pattern, kind of like how they're following the Pokemon Flock pattern for conventions. I like this sculpt the best. I'm, I, it's, I wouldn't mind a different Office pop, but I'm not going to complain. I love The Office line, so I'll, I'm definitely excited about that one. And my buddy said he would be able to pick me that one up as well, so I'm super excited. Con sticker, that's the best. Alrighty guys, and we got two more on here, I think. Yeah, two more on here I wanna get. I mean, I think in total there's like 10-ish pops or so I want. Hopefully I'll be able to get all of them except for this one. And that's the Umbrella Academy Ben, and that's, 
that's gonna be tough. That's one of those really limited pieces. He's got the blood splatter on him. So I haven't, I've collected, I think I have like three or four Umbrella Academy Pops. I, we just finished the show, season one and two, a few weeks ago. Kath and I absolutely loved it. I know you guys were recommending it forever. Amazing show, can't wait for season three. I haven't gotten the Pops, but I would like that one. It's gonna, it's definitely gonna be worth a lot of money though. So I'll probably wait and I don't know, maybe trade for it later on, or I don't, maybe I'll eventually buy it. It is a really cool pop, but I won't be able to get that one because that is on the convention only online virtual con. But lastly, guys, this is the last one that is on my want list, and boy, oh boy, it is my number one want, and I think it's a lot of people's number one want. The hype for them to make this as a pop was through the roof, okay? The sculpt came out amazing, and it's a convention exclusive. It is being shared with Target. I will have to get there early to get it, because I... I got screwed on SDCC with the Cyborg Soups. Luckily, Nerdy Steez hooked me up with that, and I never got my Stan Lee either. Just Targo is awful with those with the convention exclusive pops. So I'm getting there early, and that's for Danny freaking Phantom. I'm going ghost. Woo! I'm excited. I absolutely, absolutely love this pop. It the sculpt is amazing. Catherine couldn't even contain herself with the hype. She was so excited when she saw that. It's that that was such an awesome show. A lot of nostalgia there. Okay, guys. I love it, the sculpt came out perfect. I, I can't say enough about it. If it glowed, I guess that's the only thing that could have made it a little bit better, but it's still a 12 out of 10. I have to have that one. That is one that if I am not able to get a Target, I will be buying immediately on eBay because I can't wait for it. I just, that is such a cool pop. And I'm, I'm super excited. That's definitely my top one. And that beats our DC Marvel Pokemon office. I just, I love that. And then there's a few others I just wanted to mention that I know people really are excited about, but I'm honestly probably going to pass on. One of that and that is Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I'm glad they made these pops, guys. They're super cool. I love the sculpt. Okay, the Mermaid Man especially looks really good. But, as I've been saying, I last year me, two years ago me, three years ago me, I would have bought that pop. I would have bought both of them. But Spongebob isn't a line I really collect. I have the Diamond Series one, and that's really the only Spongebob pop I have. It's cute. I, I can't, if I get those, I'm gonna want other Spongebob ones. And as much as I love Spongebob, I cannot start that set again. I have to be good starting new sets. I, I gotta limit myself, guys. You know that, we're in the 1400 club. I know some of you guys got even more than that. I don't, I don't know how you do it, but it, it, when, I, when we hit like 13, 1400, that's when I finally said, okay, it's time to slow down a little bit. So I love that pop, I love both of them, but I won't be getting that one. Another one that people were really excited about was that up movie moment. I, I don't collect that line. I, I like the movie, obviously. I just, I don't collect a lot of Disney, but that was a cool one I wanted to mention. But I'll throw it up here one more time for you guys here. So there's just so much awesome stuff there. I'm really excited about it. Just everything overall. I mean, we got some Baby Yoda, we got Disney, you know, obviously the SpongeBob, good Marvel, good DC, good Pokemon. The the rat, whatever, the sewer rat or whatever it's called, or the pizza, I kind of want that one. That might be an impulse buy for me. I really shouldn't, but I might. And then that stitch is super cool too. So. Overall guys, I'm really excited about this convention. I think it's gonna be, I hope it goes well. I hope the stores get a little bit more stock because for SDCC guys, it was awful. At least the stores around me, I think it was pretty much everywhere. Obviously with COVID again, I'm gonna have to keep bringing it up, but that kind of screwed a lot of the inventory counts. I'm hoping NYCC, they have more, but definitely let me know down below guys, what your overall thoughts for NYCC is. I honestly, I mean, I give it like, SDCC I, this year, I'd give it like a five or a six out of 10, if that, let's be a nice. I'd probably give this like an eight or a nine. I'm very excited and there's a lot of good ones and the pops are just awesome. So let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are and what you want to be after. As always guys, thank you so much for checking us out here at Pop Academy. Make sure to smash the like button guys, subscribe if you haven't already, you do not want to miss the hunt. I'm going to be so excited Friday morning going on. I'm going with my buddy Christian again. We're going to go hunting for these pops. He's got some anime ones he's after and I'm after a lot of cool stuff. I don't know how much I'll be able to get in store. I might have to get some in line, but all this online, geez, I cannot talk tonight. It's been a while, but I'll just, you know, I'll be videotaping all of it and showing off whatever I do get in stores for you guys to see. Until next time, guys, thanks for getting funky with me. Love you guys.